Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Peace and the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon everyone. Hope you're all doing very, very well. Hope you are all in the best of iman and of course in the best of health. Hope you're enjoying the weather as well. Enjoy it whilst you can because of course we cannot trust the British weather. Kabi khush, kabi khushi or kabi gham. That's the nature of the weather in the UK. But today, alhamdulillah, on Iqra TV, Iqra with Iqra, Q Factor, The Voice, 2014 semi-finalists. These are the senior semi-finals, inshallah, and we have the semi-finalists with us at the studio. And of course, you will get to see how they read, how well they recite, how well they understand the random questions, how well they are able to answer and express their questions. We are looking at the um, understanding, the way they deliver. And when it comes to the recitation, of course, it's about having a, possessing a melodious voice and delivering each and every verse thoroughly and properly, bearing in mind and considering all the rules of Tajweed. And lastly, they will have to explain the Shana uh, Nuzul or the purpose of the revelation of the, the, um, the surah that each contestant will be reciting. It's been so good over the last couple of months from the live call-in auditions leading to the quarterfinals. And alhamdulillah now from the quarterfinals, we are actually in the senior semifinals, inshallah. Today is going to be a very, very interesting day. But before we go any further, let me just announce uh, too that one of our semifinalists, Usama um, Sacha from Dewsbury, unfortunately, um, uh, due to his personal reasons, he had to drop out. So instead of having six contestants, we only have five contestants. And the fifth contestant, because she lives in Germany, we will be listening to her recitation all the way um, via Skype. And the, uh, she will re recite the 15 um, lines. The questions will also be asked along with she, uh, um, the purpose of the revelation of the surah. So I have with me today four contestants you will see them perform each of their tasks inshallah we pray that they do well and we pray that they uh, do not get nervous and of course be as confident as they possibly can let us take this opportunity to remember all those people that are ill allah grant them a best of the health shifaya kamila ajila daima mustamira and those that have left this mortal world and have entered the eternal allah uh, grant them the best of the places. Amin. Ya Rabbal Alameen. So I've more or less explained how today's Q Factor, the voice semi-final is going to work. Now, who goes through to the next round? That's not up to me. That's not up to you, the public. Rather, it is down to very four bad people because these people, bad in a sense, because they have to get rid of two and they can only take, uh, choose three for the actual finals, inshallah. Now, who are these uh, people? I will call them on stage one by one. These are our respected uh, judges, lovely judges, alhamdulillah. So let me call on stage my first judge, uh, Mufti Abdul Muntaqim Saab. Yeah, assalamu alaikum, Mufti Saab. And our second judge, inshallah, is uh, a very good friend of mine. I mean, all the judges are uh, good friends of mine. But uh, my second judge is Molana Fakhru Zaman. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Thank you so much for coming along. Take your seat, Sheikh. Inshallah, I will be with you very, very soon. My third judge, alhamdulillah, to um, find out who will go through to the next round is Sheikh Abu Al-Uthur, another friend of mine. All friends. Ahlan wa sahlan, Sheikh, how are you? You well? You've been a judge on Q Factor last year. So you know more or less what it's more all about. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, we'll do some more talking. Take your seat. Jazakumullah. Uh, my last and my final judge, of course, you know 
who he is because he was with me from the live calling auditions to the quarterfinals and now semifinals and hopefully the last and the final stage, 17th of May, the final Molana uh, Huzaifa Sheikh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah, Hazrat Tik Tak, you're well? Very good. Take your seat, Molana, and inshallah, uh, we will start the competition very, very soon. Now, before we go any further, I quickly want to ask my brilliant uh, judges, because they are the ones uh, that will be deciding and choosing from the five who goes through to the next round. Now, I want to ask all four judges one simple question. Very easy question, not for me, but it's more for the contestant. Um, some advice to them as to how they should go through um, until the end of the competition. Start with you, Mawlana Fakhru Zaman. Inshallah. Bismillah uh, ar-Rahman I'll start uh, by saying that uh, for any competition, you have to be confident. Without confidence, uh, you might not be able to perform perfectly. So my first point is confidence. Over to Mufti Abdul Muntaqim Sahib. <coughs> جزاكم الله تعالى خيرا میں شروع ہی میں سب کو مبارک بات پیش کرتا ہوں اور حوصلہ افزائی کرتا ہوں کہ سب ذوق و شوق کے ساتھ ہمت کے ساتھ حوصلے کے ساتھ اس پروگرام میں حصہ لے کر اس ماحول کو ایک قرآنی ماحول بنانے میں اہم کردار ادا کریں گے جزاکم اللہ مفتی صاحب I hope everyone understood that at home because I'm sure we all did here to move over to Sheikh Abu Latour السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ MashaAllah, first of all, uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward the presenters of this program and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward the contestants and the judges inshaAllah ta'ala. One small advice and uh, to the contestants, just keep natural, be yourself, don't overdo it and get on with it. Over to Sheikh Huzaifa. Asalaamu Alaikum, I think everyone has said it, um, it's just the confidence, it's different to calling on the phone, this is going to be live on TV so just be yourself and have confidence, inshallah. And inshallah, absolutely. Well, uh, all of the contestants, we pray that they do uh, very, very well. And um, this is, of course, a competition. And it's a good competition. It's about perfecting the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I can say uh, this much, that these contestants have strived for the last four years. Once upon a time, they did not know the definition or the, even the linguistic meaning, the applied meaning, of the word Tajweed. And today, they are the teachers of the Quran. I definitely say that is an achievement in itself. And we pray that they go forward, they strive more, they better their Quran, and take this competition, these competitions that I uh, do on Iqra TV since 2011, Q Factor. It's about, um, it's about inspiring others. Let others see you on screen, performing your um, recitation, giving it your best shot, and knowing your rules, someone out there may watch and say, hey, if she can do it, then I can do it as well. So it's all about making sure Quran is good. End of the day, if you understand the rules of Tajweed, you know how to uh, read Kalamullah properly. And Kalamullah, as you know, revealed from the protected tablet. So it was protected there. In Lawha Mahfud, then it came all the way down to Baytul Izza, the Baytul Ma'amur, protected again, and from there it came down to the first of the heavens, protected again, and from there, the, according to the instructions and the order and the hukm of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Jibra'il Amin alayhi salatu was salam brought it down to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi sallam over a period of 23 years, protected again. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi in Masjid and Nabawi, they used to read Quran so loud. Any person embracing the folds of Islam were first taught how to read the Quran properly because this is, these are the Quran, of course, is the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and we should make as much effort in it as we possibly can. We can only get reward for it. A lot of people, one hand, they read the Quran thinking, What? I will get reward. They don't bother with Tajweed, they don't want to learn Tajweed, but without realizing the fact that they are not getting any reward, rather the Quran curses them because they do not bother to learn. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us all the tawfiq so that we are able to better our Quran and that we have this shawq and this interest um, to better it and to make tabligh of this fact and to spread it to as many people as we possibly can because the more you spread, the more reward you get. Now, 
judges, are we ready to um, kick off? You're all ready? Now, inshallah, I'm going to call on stage my very first contestant. She has progressed so, so well over the last uh, so many years. Uh, they have been watching Iqra wa Iqra from day one, from the very first day when I started. And she can, uh, and I can tell you surely about her that she was amongst uh, uh, like so many other people that did not know Tajweed, but through this show, she has learned a lot, and now she's a semi-finalist. My first contestant, mashallah, from London, so not too far, uh, Mrs. Akhirun Nisa. Let's have Mrs. Akhirun Nisa on the stage, please. Assalamu <coughs> alaikum, Mrs. Akhirun Nisa. You can place your Quran there. Now you're from London. Uh, which surah will you be reciting? Surah Yunus, yeah? Surah Yunus. Okay. Now, Surah Yunus, um, the, which verse? From the beginning, middle, or end? From the very beginning. Okay. I want you to come as close as you can to the mic so that we can hear you nicely. Is that okay? Yeah. There we go. Okay, so Mrs. Akhirun Nisa is going to start her recitation of 15 lines, 15 lines, when you're ready. Lika 
إن Okay. Hmm? Is it okay, judges? Yeah. Okay, Jazakumullah. Thank you so much, Mr. Akhun. So now your second, take a deep breath. Take a deep breath because you might be a bit nervous. I understand that because I always am, as you notice. Now, your second task, of course, our judges are going to ask you one question, a tajweed related question, of course, and you have to give it your best answer. So I'm going to start from right at my end, Maulana Huzaifa. If you can, if I can have your first question for Mrs. Akhirun Nisa, please. Okay, inshallah. My question for, for her is uh, the last ayah. Ziyaa, the word ziyaa. Can you tell me which mud is on that, uh, that word? Walladhi ja'ala shamsa ziyaa. You show her the line? The, uh, uh, which I, verse? I have four. The yeah. last yeah, yeah, five. You have it? Okay. Samsudiyah is a madde muttasil because uh, uh, after mad is hamza is same word. As okay. you have to long the uh, six alif long. And another one is uh, the aw uh, is a wow madde, you know, nunta, nun saun. <laughs> if after nun sa ke no nun ta un in, ta nu in is uh, Yarmalun letter is welcome, so you have to go eat Gunna. Okay, Jazakumullah. Is that okay, Mulana? Yes. Sheikh Abul Atur, uh, can you fire your second question, please? Well, your, your first question, but second in Mashallah. total. I think sister looks quite a bit nervous, but I'll mm -hmm. make it simple for you, sister. Um, um, I'm just going to ask you a simple question. You've read the word Allah a few times in, this, uh, in these few verses. Uh, what is the ruling in the word Allah? In the Allah. Lamb of Allah, Allah. If if I uh, uh, say what Allah before the the mawar pata, then we have to uh, pull mouth when we read Allah. Mashallah. So if you just practice that rule, inshallah. Mufti Sab. Mashallah. Ab ye bata sakenge ke ha ka makhraj kya hai. Makrab. Middle of the throat. Middle of the throat. Okay. I'll ask you uh, on the first line, Ajaban Aw. Ajaban Aw. Ajaban An. Ajaban Aw. An, sorry. An. Is, uh, the Nunsakin is hard because after Tanwin is uh, Hamza is. Uh, other letter. So if after noon second or noon tan mean is uh, uh, any throat letter is calm, so you have to clear the noon sound, read the clear. Okay, just okay. Are we okay with that? It's fine. Fantastic. Well, there we go. That's your second task <coughs> uh, completed, Mrs. Nisa. The third, can you now please explain to us, you have three minutes, uh, the Shane Nuzur, the purpose. Uh, mm -hmm. of the revelation of this very chapter, Yunus. Assalamu mm. alaikum. The main reason of the revelation of Surah Yunus is of the invitation to the message and admonition. Surah Yunus was revealed in the last stage of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, resident at Makkah. This surah was revealed to one mankind and to one mankind and uh, you can take your time <laughs> take your time think about it take your time to one mankind and uh, you to one mankind and I forgot this <laughs> uh, can I start again yes 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 yes, yes. the yes, main re main reason for the revelation of surah Yunus is of the uh, invitation to the message and admonition. The Surah Yunus was revealed in the last days of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, residence at Makkah. This Surah was revealed it to one mankind. To this Surah also re the also this Surah was sent as a, a reminder. Who, uh, as a reminder that your Allah is, that your Lord is Allah, who created the 
as, uh, heavens and the earth in six days. And those, uh, and then rose over the throne should be worshipped along with, uh, along with, along, should be worshipped alone. The invitation is to uh, obey Allah. Obey, the invitation is to obey Allah, shirk and worship Allah. That your Lord is, uh, that uh, you, that you, you, oh sorry, <laughs> worship Allah. If you finish, just say to me, you're done. Okay. Yeah, those, those of the, these realities which the Prophet Muhammad, those of our reality, realities who, uh, say who, those of our realities, Sorry, okay, we'll stop there, Mrs. Nisa. Thank you so much um, for reading, reciting Surah Tun Nisa, answering the four question, mm. and you gave it your best shot in explaining the purpose of the revelation of uh, the chapter of Yunus. Jazakumullah, mm. you can um, make your way um, down backstage. Thank you so, so much for that. There we go. That was Mrs. Akhirun Nisa. Um, this way, Mrs. Akhirun Nisa, if you make your way down this way, Jazakumullah. Uh, Mrs. Akhirun Nisa, I think it's always a bit nerve wracking. When you, when you first come uh, live on television to actually be able to read, answer questions. And I think the worst part of it is, of course, not thing I definitely know, to explain uh, the, uh, and what, this, what the surah is about. They did all very, very well indeed. It's the competition. Yes, it's going to be nerve-wracking. It's going to be tough. That's the idea. Alhamdulillah. Well, that was Mrs. Akhirun Nisa. Now I'm going to call on stage, inshallah, our, um, well, before I call and set the, the, the second contestant um, on stage, did, I just want to quickly go over to Sheikh Abul Uthur. Right. Now, <laughs> your a, a feedback about Mrs. Akhirun Nisa. Um, mashallah, Akhirun Nisa, she's done uh, very well, mashallah. Her recitation is very fluent, uh, although I did have a little bit of a, a comment on her huruf al halq. Mashallah, she knows her rules very well, she knows her tajweed. But um, maybe a little bit more practice would do, inshallah. A bit more mashq. A bit more mashq, ah. as they say, yeah. As mashq. they say, yes, and, yes. Uh, alhamdulillah, for the rest, uh, she's, she's doing excellent. And subhanallah, I think it's a great achievement. For, Absolutely. And about the way she explained the revelation. Yeah, alhamdulillah. Uh, the, the way that she explained the revelation, I think you made her a bit nervous. Yes. <laughs> well, that's the idea. Yeah, yeah. 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 But Never mind. <laughs> but she touched on the points. The great thing is she touched on the points. That's, that's, that's the main yeah. thing. I will also want to ask uh, Morana Fakhr Zaman. Mm -hmm. about I Mrs. Akhrun Yes, Nisa. again, uh, I'll uh, completely agree with Sheikh that she needs improvement on her huruf al mm -hmm. uh, Some rules of tafkhim as well. Mm -hmm. uh, Lafzi Allah came many times and she missed uh, the rules of tafkhim. Mm -hmm. Also some attention towards qalqala. Yep. Overall, her recitation is very good. And uh, you, as you said, it's not easy to stand there and recite in front of the whole audience and throughout it, everyone's watching. It reminds to me. To have that, mashallah, it, it, it's, it's a great achievement. It reminds me mashallah. when we were in Dewsbury, mm -hmm. you know, when our ustad told us to stand up. Chala gardan suna. Faala, 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 hum bhi aise hi Chalo, take it. Bilkul, right. Let's move on to our next contestant now. Our next contestant, um, all the way from Cheshire. Again, she's been watching Iqra with Iqra, of course, for so, so long and reads, mashallah, fantastically well. Let's have Mrs. Badrun Nisa, please, on the stage. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Mrs. Badrun Nisa. Ji. Ji. Uh, your surah is? Surah Al-Hijr. Surah Al-Hijr, yeah? Ji. Okay, that's good. Uh, when you are ready, you may start. Ji, great. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألف لام را تلك آيات الكتاب وقرآن مبين Rubama yawaddul ladhina kafaru law kanu muslimin Dharuhum yak 
kulu wa yatamattau wa yulhihimul amalu fasaw fa ya'lamun wa ma ahlakna min qaryatin illa wa laha kitabun ma'lum ma tasbiqu min ummatin ajalaha wa ma yasta khirun wa qalu ya ayyuhal ladhi nuzzila alayhi dhikru innaka lamajnun law ma ta'tina bil malaikati in kunta minas sadiqin ma nunazzilul malaikata illa bil haqqi wa ma kanu idham mudharin inna nahnu nazzalna adh-dhikra wa inna lahu lahafizun wa laqad arsalna min قبلك في شيع الأولين وما وما يأتيهم من رسول إلا كانوا به يستهزئون كذلك نسلكه في قلوب المجرمين لا يؤمنون به وقد خلت سن natul awwalin walau fatahna alaihim baban minas samai fazallu fihi ya'rujun laqalu innama sukkirat absaruna bal nahnu qaumun Sadaqallahul Azim. Fantastic, uh, Mrs. Badrun Nisa, mashallah, very, very good indeed. Now I'm going to go over to the judges and ask them to ask their uh, uh, a question, inshallah, to Mrs. Badrun Nisa. Okay, uh, let me start with Mawlana Fakhur Zaman, please. Okay, uh, the first word, Alif Lam Ra. Ji, in group M Ghatiyat, Ayat Mutashabihat. اور اس مد کو مد مد لازم حرف یہ مخفف کہتا ہے جزاک اللہ دیٹس دی فرسٹ کوسچن ڈن مفتی صاحب اپ پہ چلتے ہیں جی ایت نمبر 7 میں اپ دیکھیں کہ لو ما تاتینا بالملائکه بالملائکه میں کیا قاعدہ ہے اس مد کو مد متصل کہتا ہے حروف مد کے ساتھ ایک ہی کلمہ میں حمزہ ہے اور اوپر بڑی مد ہے اس کو مد متصل کہتا ہے Four to five uh, count long con duration. Chalte hai to Shahabul Autor. MashaAllah. Sister, I'll take you back to verse number one. Tilka ayatul kitabi wa Quranim mubin. Wasalurin Quranim mubin. Tanwin ka idogam hai. Mim yarmalun me se hai. Or mim mashoda dakmul gunna bhi hai. MashaAllah. Shah Huzaifa. I'll take you to ayat number eight. Wa ma kanu idham munzarin. Tell me what rule it is. Same tanwin ke idongam hai, yar mal me mim hai, aur mim mashadu dak mal gunna bhi hai. Jazakumullah. Okay, lovely. Now, alhamdulillah, that's the four questions from each, a question from each of the judges. Abhi Mrs. Badrun Nisa, inshallah, will tell us, not now, but after the break, inshallah, the shana nuzul, the purpose, the reason of the revelation of the chapter of Hajr, inshallah, all to follow straight after the break. So do not go anywhere. Stay where you are. Keep enjoying. In fact, um, at this moment in time, tell others that may not watch with the intention that if they do watch and if they like what they see and what they hear, maybe they will start watching Iqra with Iqra and learning, perfecting the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Straight after the break, we will be back. Mrs. Um, Badrun Nisa will explain the purpose of the revelation of Suratul Hajj. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. 